Hello viewers and welcome to another exciting episode of Disappointed Dragon. Uh, today we're going to be seeing some familiar things and something not so familiar. This is going to be the Blind Bag Vehicle Special. Oh yes. Uh, and that is because I bought these while I was uh, up north. Uh, these two Hot Wheel Blind Bags, which we have opened before. And of course they were very nice because Hot Wheels are always quite nice. Uh, they were actually the cheapest in the video. Again, I think they're like a dollar fifty-ish. Somewhere around there. Uh, and then again, one of these, because if you'll recall from the last time, I love this thing so much. It actually still sits on my desk at work, and every time I'm feeling a little bit bored or depressed, I just pew, shoot it across my desk, and I'm instantly happy again. Um, but the true star of this video is this. The Gearhead Blind Bag. Find your own mystery vehicle. 3+. plus. We'll zoom in. Yep. Um, so I got this from the London Drugs near me, and actually this was really expensive. If I'm not mistaken, this was... Uh, uh, it was between $10 and $15. I can't remember exactly which one. I believe it was $9.99. But um, it's supposed to look like a toolbox for working on your vehicle. Um, it was quite expensive. It's quite hefty and solid. Um, and, you know, we're hoping that this is nice. So we're going to compare this expensive blind bag to these much cheaper ones to see if it was worth the extra expense. I'm looking forward to it because it apparently comes with a lot of things. It comes with... One tool case, one crate, and one key fob, okay. Uh, one wheel with a special rim, one mystery vehicle, and two real metal tools. What that means, I don't know, but we'll open it last. And we'll start with the ones we've already seen before. Uh, I like car toys. I have I used to have a big bucket full of Hot Wheels when I was a kid as well. Um, but, like, they weren't my favorite thing. I liked the Transformers and stuff more. Again, I, this, ah, there we go. I was going to say this is really hard to open it. Uh, we get the sticker, which is just the Hot Wheels logo. Um, but I'm starting to really like cars a lot more, just because they're they're so fun to play with, and they look really nice on a desk. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at the cars on offer and see which one we want. I would love the 55 Chevy. Uh, I've got a Corvette Stingray, a Viper, a uh, Zodic. Oh, come on. Uh, pardon the reflection. Diesel Boy, Rocket Box, Bone Shaker, Twin Mill riveted carbonic paradox and mm, monoposto i'm pretty sure last time we got paradox and oh i can't remember the other one i want to say diesel boy i don't know we'll take a look back at the video and see but uh i'm really hoping for the chevy or the uh rocket box i like the more normal looking cars although uh rocket box is just funny we'll see what we got we got bleep. ha ha i believe that that is the 55 Chevy, and it is. Look at that, that's cool. So this is what we're comparing it to. This is actually a really nice little thing, as you can see. It's got some metal, metal bits. It's got really nice design on it, like a skull pineapple there. Looks like it could be the vehicle from Psyche, uh, if they ever gave up on that weird little blueberry that they like to drive around. Uh, Psyche is reference to a show. <laughs> a uh, comedy murder drama, as odd as that sounds. I'm a little bit put off by the fact that there's no windows on the side. But at the same time, still really nice. Really nice. So baseline a number one. And because I like to buy things in multiple sometimes, we got a second one. And we'll just pull that car right out. <laughs> well, I said we wanted the 55 Chevy. And the 55 Chevy we have gotten. Two of them. <laughs> well, it's not the first time on this channel we've gotten duplicates. And uh, definitely won't be the last. Uh, but then we'll go for this, and hopefully this isn't also the duplicate of the one we got last time. But if you'll recall, this is a little monster truck, and it's a new one. Excellent. And it's really nice. Like, these things are fantastic. Hot Wheels branded things. Psychodelic? Oh, psychodelic, as in psychedelic, but as a pun. And again, awesome designs all over it. I think the last one we got was just, like, the base Hot Wheels logo on it. Uh, Thailand, it says. I'm going to assume that says made in. Yeah. But uh, the fun thing about these, as you can see, there's a slot in the back. And, oh, there's actually little... I don't think I noticed this last time that there's actually stickers inside. I think I threw out the last box without realizing. But the whole point of these ones is that... Oh, this is the same thing that happened last time is getting it to work the first couple times is always a little bit difficult. But once it's working... Yeah! 
it really shoots across. Now it's going to be very difficult for this to match up to this because this thing is cheap, it's well made, it's really pretty, and it's super fun once, of course, the thing has been shot a few times. It does, uh, th this is exactly what happened with the last one, is it does take a while for it to uh, get broken in. But once it is broken in, then it it's really fun to play with. And it really goes. So this is what we're up against. And it's difficult to beat something that's this much fun for such a small amount of money. And like I'm I'm amazed at the quality, because like this this thing was I think two dollars and fifty cents was what I paid for it this time. I think last time I only paid two dollars. And like this was like a dollar seventy-five. These are really nice. So this being ten dollars, it had better beat this at the very least. So let's say. And again, I'm, I'm, I've got high hopes. Like it's very solid. You can see that's that's hard plastic. Ah, here we go. Okay, I'm liking this already. So this is the crate, which, uh, as we've said in a past video, I do like plastic crates, and this is a little plastic toolbox. And that's actually really cool. It's got like the handle. Okay, I like that. All right, let's open up the little plastic toolbox first and see what's inside. Okay, come on. A little hard to open, but there we go. Got the gearbox and there's our little metal tools. That's actually really cool. That is a little tiny metal, um, I wanna say lug wrench. Could be a socket wrench, I'm not hundred percent sure. Sorry, not very good with tools and a tiny little screwdriver. And these things actually have a little weight to it. So, so far I am, I am suitably impressed. Let's see what this is. And this here is what looks like our instructions. So, ah, you're supposed to open it with the uh, screwdriver. You're supposed to use the lug nut or the, the lug wrench on the bottom to get the tire out. Oh! That's really cool. It's like a tiny micro machine setup. The the tire opens up and it's got a little setup inside of it. That is actually really awesome. Um, little known fact, I really like micro machines. I used to play with them when I was a kid. Let's do this right. We'll use our tools. Uh, I actually have a large play set still from when I was a kid of the micro machines. Um, and we'll... Maybe one day take a look at that. But for now, let's see what we've got in our little tray. So we've got here a collector's guide. Oh, so we can get um, a monster truck, Maximus Crusher, Circuit Breaker, Fast Formula, Mighty Might, Power Lifter, Power Bracket, Deep Diver, Police Cruiser, Speed Wagon, High Flyer, Exotic, and Muscle Mania. Um, oh, there's even more. <laughs> Holy moly, there's a lot. Dirt Hauler, Quick Starter, Retro Racer, Fast Tracker, Drone Demon, Spoiler Alert, Road Rat, Sky Skimmer, Turbine Terror, Trail Champ, Turbo Treble, and Go Fast. Um, I think of all of these, the only ones I don't really want are Go Fast and Rod Rat, because they all seem kind of... Uh, I, actually, I wouldn't like Fast Formula or Retro Race that much either. Uh, to be honest, I kind of want Power Lifter, because <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Or Speed Wagon. But uh, I guess for comparison purposes, the best one would be to get Muscle Mania or Maximus Crusher. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty happy with this so far. It's It has really impressed me. And that's actually quite a joy to turn. So far, I am really impressed with this. I think I'm going to give this to my brother afterwards, at least that the uh, little tool set, because it's something I think he would love. This is a, like I said, these these tools are chunky, and this is a this is actually a joy to play with, at least so far. Hopefully, it doesn't spoil it for me at the end. But uh, okay, it doesn't come all the way off. So far, I am very pleased with this. And then we've got our crate off to the side. Uh, we've got here. This is the little. Oh, so this is what it meant by the key fob. So it's like a fold-out little key, like one of those smart keys that you get for newer vehicles. And we have here our tire. So this is our little playset. Oh, and it springs apart like that and opens up. Okay, and it's got the little car there. 
Uh, this is power packed, I believe. Yes. So we have a little car there, and if I'm not mistaken, we push this in. Let's aim it off to the side. And he should... Should... Oh, wait, no, I gotta push the button. Shoot out. Yes, he does. Um, so here's the little car. Mm, I have to say, compared to the rest of it, I'm not that pleased with the car. It's, it's about the size of a micro machine, um, but it is all plastic. Aside from a small, I'm going to assume that's either a magnet or a weight. It's a magnet. Uh, to make it move, it's it's not bad. It's not bad by any means. It is still quite a nice little thing. Uh, it's got paint on it, which is not badly done. Um, and it does have a gimmick to shoot it. And it is a nice little like play set, which I like. I'm not sure what the key is for. Does it arm it? I don't know. But then you've got a button, which you push and it shoots out it's not quite as um well if this one it's not quite as energetic as this <laughs> i love this thing so much i'm sorry but it is a cool little thing sorry i'm trying to get this locked back in there we go um it is a very cool thing it looks like you don't actually need the key to arm it I'm not actually sure what the key is for. I'm going to take a look at the instructions again just to see if there's something I'm missing with the, with the key here. One. What is... So apparently these do something. I'm not sure what. I'm a little bit confused by the instructions, because you can see on the instructions here, it says something about those two things up at the top. Like it's, I'm not really sure, does it do something? What does that do? Hmm, I'm not really sure. I feel like the key is supposed to do a little bit something more. Like it's supposed to somehow go... Sorry, I'm doing this off screen, but it seems like the key is supposed to like... Just chunk all the way in. But I don't see how. Hmm. Okay, so obviously... These are there to hold the car in place when it's closed. So this is supposed to... Oh, how does this close up? So it closes up. Come saw. Alright, so now it's all closed up. And... Hmm. Shows that you're supposed to like spin it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused on some of the mechanics. Oh, do you just push it down? It does kind of spring open. I'm not 100% sure how this is supposed to work. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what the key does. I mean, I know that we have the key and I know that you're supposed to put it in. For some reason, but it also shows that you're supposed to like push it in all the way. But unless there's something I'm missing, there doesn't seem to be any way to do that. It's supposed to be like zoom, zoom. I don't know. Maybe is it? Let me try something here. Shoo. We'll shoot it off. Maybe when it's not loaded. Oh, okay. So. You're supposed to uh, actually use the key to arm it, but you can arm it just as easily by taking the car and pushing back like that. So the key is unnecessary. It's just a little extra, extra thing to give it a little bit more, you know, novelty, I guess. It is a really nice thing. You, you get a lot of stuff, like you get 
the crate, which is actually a nice plastic crate. I mean, you could use that for something. You get the uh, little toolbox, which is really cool. Um, my actual favorite part, these little metal tools, because they've got a lot of heft to them. And then you get a tiny little play set with a key. And I have to say, although the car itself is probably part of the weakest bit of it, it is still Micro Machine size and it is not bad. I would say that for only $10, I would say that that's all right. It's definitely a lot of money. And I mean, old Micro Machine stuff, I think I would actually like better, but it's still, it's a really cool thing. I, I can't really be too unhappy with it because it is a really neat little thing. I, I still think that I'd prefer to buy more of these just because I think that as a standalone vehicle, this just works better even without the gimmick. It's still really nice. It's really detailed. And I mean, obviously this is a full-sized toy car, which is really nice. I, I still think that of the three of these, I would rank it with this as the best one just because of how cheap it is and how nice of a thing it is by itself. And then I would definitely go for this. I do think that this is worthwhile. I think it's really cool. I'm... I'm I'm a sucker for things that are like miniaturized and for gimmicks. So the fact that this has a playset gimmick and then comes with all of these other like little tiny tools and things, I'm I'm really impressed with this. I think that this was a win compared to some of the other stuff that we've gra grabbed over the the months. Some of the things I've wasted money on, this was by far one of the best ones we've wasted money on so far. And the fact that you can stick it back in. Uh, where did I put the key fob? There it is. You can stick it back in. Put the key fob there. Close it up. And then we can use our little tool. We can spin it the right way. Yes, there we go. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's come off because I was being a little bit too... Um, blase about it but we can use our little tool to tighten it back up and it's back in there all nice and tight Put the tool away stick that back on top and it stores away i have to say I am so much more impressed with that than I thought. I, I just thought it was going to be like a little car and maybe like an actual like keychain, but it turned out all right. And we can have it um, flanked by our two, what was it, 55 Mustangs? 55 Chevys, sorry. And then top it off with our royal winner here. And we've got our setup. So this is actually one of those times when I am not a disappointed dragon. I am a very much pleasantly surprised dragon. And I have to say that I really liked this. I think if you like vehicles, tchotchkes, and miniatures, this is this thing is super nice. As always, these are just amazing desk toys. <laughs> Look how much like go it's got. It had enough go to shoot this other vehicle all the way into the corner. Oh man, I'll never get tired of these. But that'll do it for these video this video today. As always, stay happy, stay healthy. And be careful when you waste your money, but uh, you could do worse than wasting it on these products here. All three of them are great. All three of them are winners. And all three of them would look fantastic on a desk. So until next time, bye bye